Okay, so let's have a go at drawing a bee. Now all you're going to need is a pen and pencil and we're going to start off by drawing three different shapes for the sections of the bee's body. So we've got the head, the thorax and the abdomen. So the head will do as an oval shape and we're just going to do this quite lightly to begin with. Then we'll do a circle shape for the thorax and lastly the abdomen which is a sort of larger bean shape. So I've done these quite lightly but now for the bees shape of the body we're gonna press harder and draw around these shapes. So it doesn't really matter with drawing you can make lots of light marks and draw over them and you could rub them out later or just leave them, it doesn't really matter. So this will give us the bee's body, like that. Now on the head, we want a big eye, so we're gonna draw a big oval shape. And in that oval shape, we'll draw another smaller oval, which will be the eye highlight. So you wanna color around that center oval and what that's going to do, it's going to make it look like there's a bit of light being reflected in the bee's eye, which helps to bring things to life. So you can do that if you're drawing eyes on any animal. It's a good tip. So we've got our eye. Then on the thorax, the middle section, we're going to draw in some hairs because bee's bodies are quite fluffy and all of these hairs help pollen to stick to their bodies. Then on the last section, we'll draw the stripes, a bee's best feature. So I like to do these quite scribbly, but you can do them how you like. But I think this just helps to make the bee's body look a bit fluffy. So go all the way down the body. until you get to the end of the abdomen. Like that. So you've got to press quite hard to get quite dark stripes in. There we go. Then our bee needs to fly. So we're going to give it some wings. We'll do these as quite big shapes. Coming from the thorax big shape like that and then we can draw some kind of flicky lines in the wings to help give them a bit of movement and texture. So there's one and then we'll draw another wing at the back of the body like that again with some kind of flicky lines down it. Then our bee is going to need some legs so a bee is an insect which means it's got six legs so we'll draw these coming from the thorax and we'll draw them like lots of little sort of squashed ovals joined together because bee le bee's legs have quite a lot of joints. And then you can just sort of colour those in, pressing hard again to make some dark legs. So there's going to be three legs on this side of the body and then the other three, to make six legs, will be at the back of the bee's body. So we can just draw these in a bit more lightly at the back, which helps to make them look like they're in the distance. So again, just kind of connecting shapes together to give the impression of legs. So there we have six legs. Then our bee is going to need some antennae. So bees don't actually have noses like we do, but instead they use their antennae to smell and taste as well. So we'll do these as quite sort of thick, dark lines like that. And then our bee's nearly done. So what you can do is just give it a bit of shading at the bottom by doing lots of lines 
which just helps it to look a bit more 3D. And that's how I started off most of the drawings in the B book. And once you've done that, you can then colour it in or you could cut your B out. It's up to you.